Welcome back to the gym, guys. So talking to you about our Tuesday training. Uh, today we have kind of a medium length, fairly short uh, conditioning piece. It's going to be about 9 to 14 minutes, uh, depending on how fast you handle these runs. And then we have an after party, kind of a, a body armor, body pump type of thing. So let's get right into the conditioning piece. It is a three rounder, so fairly short and sweet. We're going to do a 400 meter run. We're going to come back in. We're going to do 24 overhead med ball ab mat sit-ups. And then we're going to do 12 double dumbbell clean and jerks. Let's go in reverse order. So for the um, clean and jerks, we ideally want to be unbroken. So this is a pretty moderate to light load today. We want to be able to um, just like bust right through these 12 unbroken. Um, at the most, we want to be able to take two sets. So maybe six and six, eight and four. Uh, seven and five, something like that uh, to get through these. Okay, so you can go kind of moderate in loading, but nothing that'll take longer than two sets to get through. Um, and then we'll skip up to the top. So 400 meter run, this is something that's going to take about two minutes, a minute 30 to two minutes is probably the best guidance. For fast folks, it's going to be right on that minute 30 mark, and then you're going to be closer to that nine to 10 minute mark in there. For most people, it's going to be about a 12 to 14, 15 minute um, time frame here. Um, it's three rounds. It shouldn't take longer than five minutes to get through each round. So modify these movements or variations accordingly or the reps accordingly to make that happen. Let's talk about the overhead ab mat sit up. That's the middle one. It goes 400 meter run, 24 overhead ab mat sit ups, 12 double dumbbell clean jerks. This is a fairly new movement for us. I really like this version of it because it keeps a nice neutral spine. A lot of times in the ab mat sit up, I'll show in a sec, we round forward to kind of reach this arbitrary range of motion. So what we end up seeing is this. Instead of finishing right here, even though I'm shy of vertical, it's totally fine, but we reach forward like that and collapse. This nice medicine ball here and the overhead component help keep uh, that over reach at bay okay so it's going to be here you're going to be locked out come up right back down lock out come up right back down and as you can see i'm nice and neutral here which really helps with that good um sit up position that good general spinal position that nice neutral spine so i really like this version it is tougher than you might think um, use a lighter med ball, okay? This should be something that you keep on busting out. I won't say totally unbroken, but you might have, and you might have to pause once or twice during it, but the, the load shouldn't be the limiting factor, okay? It's the position that we're training in this. And that's really it, guys. So remember, 9 to 14 minutes. Um, no more than a couple pauses with the sit-ups. No more than one break with the clean and jerks. All right, let's get into our body armor piece. It is straightforward. It's 20, 15, and 10 reps of curls. Uh, I'm sorry, 20, 15, 10 reps of rows, curls, and push-ups. So you'll do 20 rows, 20 curls, 20 push-ups, 15, 15, 15, 10, 10, 10. It is not for time, it is for quality. Um, see if you can go unbroken on those push-ups. That's a, that's a great way to, um, really um, pump up the benefit of this workout. Or, on the other hand, it's also an opportunity to work on push-ups, okay? So have fun with that one, get a little pump, uh, have fun with the training day in general. I'll see you guys soon, out.